Hi everyone, we are back. We've been watching uh, so many of you battle over the Glickenhaus with much interest and we've been blown away once again by all of the fantastic comments that you've left on the previous episode. So we're back. Welcome to the Top Drive Show. As I was just saying, fantastic work on the previous episode. We got so much support, loads and loads of likes and comments. Once again, you are all amazing. And that means that we've got great questions uh, to answer. And the first one, picking up a carbon fiber pack with 66 upvotes, well done, is Kingsley TD uh, with the question, is it possible to eliminate uh, the same names for different tracks? It's really confusing. Ah, oh, right, yeah, yeah. So I had a yes. chat, I had a chat about this. <laughs> There, there was there was this idea that uh, when you're at the beginning of the game right in the early days and it's a very important time like we want players to sort of get into the game and get through it it actually could be more confusing having lots of different names because you don't, you don't have the optimal cars for everything you, you just go twisty road all right it's twisty road i get it you know i'll bring my twisty thing and you don't care but it's, oh no, it's the original Twisty Road. No, now it's the Twisty Road that's in the canyon or now it's the one that's yeah. on the mountain or something. You're just like, okay, I'll bring a Twisty thing. And then in the late game, we are like, no, this is definitely the best one for the Twisty Road in this situation. But in, for those players, they are the ones who know you can see it in the background or they know that you get the four sets for the first four races you play in the event and they know which one it is. So they can sort of figure it out. But on the other hand, we've now got so many tracks and so many names coming up it's starting to feel like mm. it could do, yes I think kind of basically came to the conclusion that it could do with a pass yeah exactly. um, as a yes uh, as in we I, and also I mean it was there were even little things I think with the kind of the, there was an early version of the game that, that we were playing for a while before it was released where actually the, the I mean just in very practical terms the, the space available for the track name oh, was very yeah. was very small yeah and when we um, translate it into what's German it's yes German is right? usually the longest so there was even a little bit of kind of actually let's let's keep them as short as we possibly can right um which was fine but as you say it's just it's grown and it i think we are now at the point where yeah it, it's I, th I think it's probably safe to say it's it's gonna get a pass uh exactly not it's, sure exactly it's not obvious what it would be because it's like just twisty road by m is code for mountain one yeah and that's a bit obscure <clears throat> and then you don't want to i don't know you don't want to go ridiculous and kind of you know spell everything out in, in great detail yeah um so we need to i think we need to come up somebody on the team exactly. needs to come up with a nice or just concise synonyms. way like this one's the waggly road <laughs> yeah, this yeah. one's the wiggly road <laughs> oh. that's probably not it and they're subtly different yeah uh, but definitely acknowledged as a I think that time has come that, yeah. uh, that it does it does need, a, need yeah. to be somebody to take a look at good call yeah our next question also getting a carbon fiber pack comes from Javi underscore top drives which is a great name for a YouTube channel um, asking maybe add different engine sounds to the cars uh, it looks weird seeing a diesel ford transit sound the same as a pagani huara yeah okay fine um why not introduce race spectating in 1x speed oh that, there's two questions in one there um i think we've already answered the one time speed one somewhere else but the the car sounds uh, well, i think we might have done that in episode two or yeah something. which one the, the, sounds the oh, sounds. yeah in the long long ago yeah is it's, it on the list? Oh, I don't. I'm not even sure I would go that far. I don't know how much. I don't know how much behind, like, behind the curtains to reveal here, or whatever. But it's like, what? Well, it's just in terms of building a game, yeah. and there's just, there's always. I mean, I know that. I mean, lots of industries are the same. It's it's not like this is a problem exclusive to games. But there's obviously you're you're trying to build the best game you can. Mm -hmm. There's a whole there's a set amount of time, sort of a, you know rough rough amount of time and kind of features and quality that we want to get in. Yeah. Um, the, the tricky thing um, on mobile is just with audio mm -hmm. is uh, that just a large percentage of the playing population don't don't use yeah. audio at yeah. all as in they're, they're listening to their own music or they or they've, they just turn it off and they're on YouTube or um, and so it, it basically just it becomes very difficult for, for audio to make its way up the priority list is I guess yeah. that the, what I'm saying um, we sort of I mean, we'd we'd love in a way we'd like the game to have great audio and mm. um, actually car sounds. Um, we sort of, they they can add, yeah they definitely add a lot. It is weird that, that we've I got mean, everything sounding the same. Really needs? We like, the thing is sound for all electric cars right? They yeah, electric cars. It's, 
I think we, I mean, we did go through a process of doing this and, it, and it's, it's probably four-ish or something. It's yeah. kind of electric cars. It's sort of mon mundane, low powered cars. Oh, right. It's sort of yeah. kind of mid range. You could do a kind of high range then a motorsport or you could just combine those yeah. two. Or like maybe split it by cylinder layout. That's, yeah, that's another one as well. Cause you, I mean, you kind of want the V, if you're going to, if you're going to do a pass on it, you want the burbling the asymmetrical rumbling yeah. of, of v8 engines because well, i feel like <clears throat> what would happen is we, if we put a certain amount in almost everybody wouldn't notice because they don't know the sound and the people who do notice would then immediately go ah well you've got these ones but these should sound different as well yes and then no matter how far down you go <laughs> is it is it a slippery slope yeah that's what i'm afraid of so oh. I would, I would like it, but I'm, I'm, I'm not even sure I'd go as far to say that it is on the list. But completely acknowledge for the people who do, you, yeah. you know, live, play the game with sound, that it is not, it's not where we would. It's not that's not like our bar where it's just like, yeah, that's that's great audio. It's um, yeah, it's interesting we, to see how many upvotes that question gets. Fifty-seven. That is a fair old amount. That is, yeah. Yeah, those are those are some likes right there. Yeah. Okay, so maybe there's a discussion to be had about whether or not it goes on the list <laughs> i think wonderful yes. yeah. okay that's great so thank you very much javi once again you get a carbon fiber pack uh the next question uh getting a carbon fiber pack as well comes from meme lord which is a great name again um can we add an offline mode for campaign so you can play while you're on the go now we this was a oh. this was a question a very long time ago yeah. not on the show but between the dev team when oh, we yeah. were debating whether or not the game should be online all the time yeah yes oh you remember that yep. yeah just about yeah um again it, i don't want to sort of get into sort of too many boring intricacies or controversial uh uh sort of intricacies about the decisions that we made but i guess at a kind of high level it's 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 not that it's difficult it's but building a game that is both kind of offline and online mm. is it just raises a variety of what we would call kind of edge cases and, and kind of player scenarios and things like that, that that would have just taken up a lot of development time for us um and it actually it's it's a in a way i think that the experience is overall you know if you take overall experience for, for the entire playing population i think the experience is better and, and it's more solid um for the fact that the game is is online yeah um and as a result of that decision we've sort of built ourselves with that in mind yeah so the game is pretty much designed to operate in that way yeah it would be uh a strange task to try and make it work yeah. offline and, yeah. be, and be secure right we get people get up to a lot of shenanigans in games that are yep. offline and if you have a hybrid part people will be trying to what? find some way to exploit it get some kind of advantage out of it and would have to be proofing against all yes that. yeah because i mean the big thing is that we, we you know take it really seriously in terms of the, the you know the kind of the event side of the game that that needs to be kind of a fair you know playing field for, yeah. for everyone mm -hmm. and, and, and they're, they're always online is a, is a big part of that yeah. so but I you know get get the frustration you know I, I travel by underground every day yeah um, and it's you know I do I need to you know pick and choose which, which games I play at which you know which point of my journey um, so yeah. understand the frustration but we, we feel like it's a top drives is actually a better overall experience because of that decision so yeah and when mm -hmm. you play it long term as well like really 99 percent of your whole time of the game is in events anyway the campaign part just diminishes more and more and more yeah because it's a you know it's a long game mm -hmm. uh, so yeah it's not going to help that many of the active players right now either. yeah mm. okay well thank you very much for your question good, definitely good question yeah. yep definitely uh next question comes from bash with an exclamation mark at the end asking uh would it be possible to have a general description of track conditions like in the single player campaign uh the first entry is otherwise wasted just learning what kind of cars to enter uh thanks for the game by the way favorite mobile game by far and can't wait for clubs Why thank not? you yeah That's i mean so... i mean i have i have this issue in multiplayer as well that i sort of have to do a little bit of trial and improvement yeah. before i can actually get good yeah. scores in missions yeah. missions in well, matches because i want to the campaign as well it's still not enough is it it's like surfaces on road but the weather is wet Ooh, but the, you know you'd be like but how wet is it all wet is yes. it twisty are there yeah. drags yeah um, 
So, I mean, this is where players have stepped in and, you know, there's some really excellent, dedicated uh, people out there. I think Mousetrap and Ninja Designs on the web forum are very, very often getting in there minutes after an event has started and posting, here's what the track sets are, everybody. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, to save your I, I use those all the time. Uh, Which is really great. Thank you very much. Exactly. Big shout out there if you're helping us out there. Yeah. And it does make you think like, maybe we should provide that. It's because the, the, the idea that it's like, oh, what's it going to be? Oh, that, you know, the name of the event is somehow like Regenmeisters or something, whatever it was. <laughs> like, wait, that's German for rain. Aha. Uh -huh. Brilliant. Like, <laughs> yeah. But other players can just post what it is and see. So, yeah. Maybe it, yeah, it seems that we. Yeah, where you can just see it. Yeah, because what that is that that's that's a piece of emergent behaviour that's filling a niche we haven't filled yet. Yeah. So if we want to make that easier for players. Club mode, right? There's going to be lots of short events. You know, we talked about how this is going to work. There's going to be like three types of track sets in a day that can come up. So there'll be one that's yeah. called like twists and turns, and another one that's called I can't remember off road madness or something, and and the event's only two hours long, and so. Oh, you don't want to waste you, you, your cars finding out what it is. No, it just, yeah, you just want that information. But they're so quick for people aren't going to be posting the tracks. Although if there's only three a day, I guess they could still do that. So it does actually make that seem more important. I guess we'll have to see how that feels yeah. when we play it. But yeah. I think it is one of those things that is kind of you know I think if there's a if 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 we're looking if if at some point we're gonna we're looking at the kind of presentation of of event the event panels or things like that mm -hmm. I think there's a I think there's probably you know we could say there's a strong case for it making it onto there yeah um, mm -hmm. it's just that we're we're always battling with the amount of information that needs to be you yeah. know conveyed to people yeah. especially in front um, of those yes there's, there's a lot going so on. and just to, you know it's always trying you don't want to overwhelm people but yeah. um no i think that's that's definitely one that's kind of if we can find a way to do it yeah cleanly and without sort of sacrificing other information mm -hmm. um I, I could see that appearing in the game at some yeah. point cool thank you bash uh next question is coming from top drives pack openings uh, great name for a i keep saying that today uh the that's question is <laughs> yeah well, when the game was first released when you pressed compare you'd see car quotes right yeah. um in an update seeing them whenever was added uh, my question is what happened to car quotes i love and still do looking around with the porsche update a few cars had quotes but now none of the updates after the jaguar and land rover have any of the updated cars with quotes oh the new cars don't they, have they quotes. no no quotes oh. it's a small feature but i think it adds a lot and it's just a small fun feature that i think should come back a uh, great job on pl8 loving everything new to top drives keep mm. up a great work uh, i completely empathize oh, i yeah. love car quotes yeah. i i i think annoyed a lot of people on the team by constantly saying we should get car quotes in i and also i don't know i'm probably i think i'm saying lots of things maybe i shouldn't today but they kind of made it in by mistake the first oh, that's right because you can uh, only see them in compare yeah mode, right you can see them if yes you turn them over uh, so they, they one other place where you could there was actually a decision to remove car quotes and then they they managed to sneak back in <laughs> yeah. at some point which is why in future releases they 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 haven't appeared because they just simply haven't been hooked up behind the scenes but we uh, we had something like i think it's about 50 percent of the cars have car quotes and, yeah and there, there are things it's something that comes from the um the, the entire road test team at evo magazine who just i mean they just have a great view on you know on the industry i just i love that you know some of them are just informative i think some are funny some are yeah. slightly funny in a uh what in a critical manner yes controversial <laughs> manner we'd have to be a bit careful about but um i want them back i don't i, <laughs> I don't that doesn't um i don't know we yeah. need to, uh, maybe i'll maybe i'll i'll start my campaign again of yeah. annoyance and uh <laughs> do mock-ups and uh, try and get them back well i mean with the the, the comment got 12 upvotes so we've already okay. got a, a pretty a pretty significant mandate i yeah. think i just i think it would be lovely kind of i think that when i my ideal scenario is that every time you open a pack if there is a quote there's a kind of little right, speech yeah. bubble almost like next to the card right. and it's just like this is a card and this is what's interesting about it and mm -hmm. it could be you know it could be you know it could be right down kind of rq3 and 4 stuff that could still have a you know something interesting oh, yeah. to know yeah. yeah so i'm gonna um yeah i'm gonna go off and uh start my new campaign to get yeah. car quotes back in nice all right good 
Okay, so um, that's sort of the, the core questions we've got. But we've got <clears> one more, which is sort of slightly meta. Uh, the question comes from Austin Gore Gore uh, with a question. Why did you guys decide to make the Top Drive show? Better communication with players, just for fun, etc. Love the show, by the way. So, I mean, <laughs> great that you love the show. Um, also great that you're asking why we do this yeah, sort of thing. Rather than kind of, why did you make this? You really shouldn't talk. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, at least, at least <laughs> it's in support of the game, of the, of the, game, of, uh, of the show. So, I mean, we, we decided to do this about... Well, we decided to do this about five months before the first episode actually came out. Mm. Um, and we said, yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. We're going to get onto this. We'll do it. And then it was, we'll do it. We'll do it. And then we did it. And now we're doing it. Um, but yeah, it was, it, was a lot about, it was a lot about communication. Because at the time, the, the game was... The multiplayer scene particularly was exploding at that time. Mm. And so we said, right, well, we need, we need feedback and we need communication. Yeah. And just that, I think for us, a sense that that this is just, you know for this is a fully live service. For, you know, this is a, this yeah. is a, a live yeah. experience for us, and we and we knew that we had all the, these new manufacturers coming and and prize cars, and th there was kind of that sense of kind of I guess wanting to have a it was an, an extra channel as well to share about what's coming up really because yeah. we um, it's not something we'd done a lot of in the past. No, um, no. And with this game, it felt like that that was it was a huge part of it. And I think it's a it's just a better way of addressing some of these things, these questions that come up, you know, why can't we buy a car and fight us for cash or something? You can imagine a FAQ with some very dry sort of <sighs> Yeah, I mean I I wouldn't read that. Being able to have a you know, upfront discussion between all three of us, like this is how we think about it, this is the current reasoning, yeah. you know. Yeah. I think is a it's just a more enjoyable way to get those sort yep. of answers. Yeah, I think and so. Yeah. By design we kind of we, we we were hoping that we could get lots of different members of the dev team in to ask sort of pretty specific questions mm. of course one issue with that of course is that they are very busy working right now <laughs> yeah. um so we, we've occasionally we've had like we had manu on one time we've had yeah. ian come along um i mean if you if you want to see some more specific stuff from other members of the dev team and get some really in-depth questions i'm sure we could pull them away for five minutes yes. if you some of them are quite reluctant. We'll <laughs> yeah we'll yeah that's true um but yeah i mean if you uh if that's something that you'd like to see, then uh, I don't know how much power I have over that decision, but you could leave a comment. Yeah, see what the demand is. Yeah, see what people want to see. It's saying as well, actually. That, I mean, we, don't, we are still looking. I mean, it could be that this time next year we are, the three of us are still sat here on the sofas, but yeah. I think we are, we are also looking at ways to kind of evolve it. Um, hopefully, I don't know, I'd, I'd still quite like the idea the track day season is soon upon us, and I think let's talk about maybe an, a, another kind of on-location top yeah. drive show from a... From a track day, Whoa. Will... yeah, uh, um, we'll yeah. I mean, so as I said about eight episodes ago or something, like this is quite firmly season one point five because we've moved to the couches. Um, we've got ideas and we're trying to get them into practice. Uh, yes. Things are kicking up slowly, but yeah, we're we're having a good time, and we we like to hear all of your really cool questions. Uh, and plainly, there's a demand for it because you've all been engaging wonderfully, and uh, we like to see that. So thank you so much for coming along and watching us explain anything you ask us i guess right um we've got something else to do don't we prize car prize car time yeah, yeah. prize car time right uh so, so 2018 jaguar yeah. xc sv project 8 that's a lot of letters and yeah. numbers yeah i think just jaguar project 8 Okay. Cool tends to, tends and what to be is an easier thing. what is this mysterious Jaguar you've found? So it's it's the second time it is right. appearing. Um, yep. When was it back in February? February 2018. Yep. Yeah. So, so over a year. long yep. ago. Um, was uh, yeah is is reappearing. It it feels it's basic. I guess to sum it up, how do you sum it? Up? It's just, I mean it's just an absolutely epic. Uh, saloon car well incredibly rapid saloon car or even better um, if you want oh sorry yes <laughs> ah. I, I meant, oh, sorry yeah was, that's me mixing my uh, <laughs> real world and top drives world yeah. but a uh, legendary uh, saloon car mm -hmm. um, I think it's that thing that's you know there's fast there's a lot of fast saloon cars a lot of big kind of fast Mercedes BMWs and Audi things like that um, what's interesting about this is it's 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 got a real track focus. I think you can probably see, I mean, just even from, from kind of the images itself, mm -hmm. it's, um, it's been, it was kind of developed and kind of honed and, and focused around kind of track work, which is, which is kind of really sets it apart 
um, I think from some other fast saloons. So it's it's pretty comprehensive in terms of performance. Um, obviously, when the saloon only events or anything or saloon bonus points, it's going to be an incredibly um, powerful tool to have uh, in your collection. Um, I, I mean, create a few crazy. I mean, we got the stat. I mean, five hundred ninety-two brake horsepower in a, and it's not even a big saloon. You know, kind of the XE is is a. It's you know, it's it's on the small side as saloons go. Mm. So. Um, 200 miles an hour, um, you know, not to 60 in the, you know, in the sort of three second, in the low three second range. So yeah. very, very fast. Um, I guess one example, the other thing that's worth mentioning is it's four wheel drive. Yeah. Which uh, allows it to get that serious power down in a variety of situations. I mean, I think probably the the most obvious kind of way to, to show what it's capable of is if we, uh, uh, get out our old friend, the McLaren 12C, which has uh, become, I think we might, I don't know, it's, I guess it's just a good benchmark, isn't it? That's right. It's the best car <coughs> most people have for a long time. Yeah. It's a reference. Um, so out and out, you know, kind of lightweight, uh, two-seater supercar, um, verging on sort of hypercar. Um, okay, we're going to put it on the fast circuit and then we're going to make it wet. Yeah. So it's not, it's, it's not absolutely comfort zone, but it's still, uh, it's still up against, you know, Jaguar is still a saloon car, but, um, if I run this, uh, you can see that, I mean, four wheel drive, off -line, I mean yeah, four wheel drive gets away. I mean, the McLaren do, does sort of pull it back. I think particularly kind of under braking kind of into, into the corners. Um, it's, it's just about keeping with the Jaguar, mm -hmm. but you know, just, I, this is one of those things where I'd, I'd love to see this race in real, real life. life yeah. I think it would just look <laughs> even with a color combination of the kind of the white versus the orange. Yeah. Um, and really, I mean, it takes it with, with, you know, a few car lengths to spare. Um, so it's it's a pretty mighty car yeah um and yeah it's it's up for grabs again hooray so yeah and uh, you know among british cars in particular we quite often have a uk requirement it's uh i mean obviously there's the mclarens there's all of those but with its four-wheel drive yeah it's kind of at the top of the tree there in many ways so yeah mm -hmm. that's what's going up so, nice yeah an impressive car. Current, uh, I think currently, I'm not, I need to double check, but I think currently still the, the lap record holder at the Nürburgring Nordschleife for a saloon car. Oh, wow. Um, and also not that long ago was uh, Laguna Seca as well. I mean, I'm sure if it, if it if one traveled the world, it could uh, pick up a few more records. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's a ge genuinely pretty much the fastest track-based saloon car. Yeah, it's uh, pretty special. Hands on. Great. Cool. So that's the prize car that's coming up in the near future. Uh, anything else that we need to discuss? What's that? I can think of here in the <laughs> distance. Some people going clubs, clubs, clubs. 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 What's oh. that? I've never heard of clubs. Well, it's a very exciting new feature. It's very complicated. We're working on it, bug fixing it, scale testing it. Yeah. And we have made some great progress since. Yeah. The show. There was a great, great studio big studio test of it um, yep i was there friday yeah. where it was just fun being on the winning uh, the winning side i think we, uh, was it now we, uh, yeah, <laughs> i was, it was on the losing great. side so <laughs> i'm sure it was great <laughs> movement out that uh, but no it is that's the thing the, 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 it's the map it's the way that the map evolves over time and and where kind of key key spots become real real kind of battlegrounds in that sense that there's a uh, um so yeah it's it's i i I don't know. Progress is good. I, I feel like we are close to being able to say right. when. We're close it's to being coming. able to say when. Because we'll only say when when we're sure. Otherwise yeah. We'll yeah. So yeah. when can we say when? We don't know. It's too soon to see, even say that. But then you very quickly know when you can say when and then you can say when. All right. That's how it'll go. Okay, well, wonderful. Yeah. I think the next top drive show. That's what you think. That's what I think. Ooh, that would be nice. I'd say 50% chance of that. Right. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, you can place your bets uh, down in the comments section if you want. Um, I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> um, but speaking of which, uh, if you don't know the rules by now, then um, welcome. We answer questions based off the comments from the previous episode. So go down into the comment section of this video, leave your question. If you see a question someone else has asked that you like the look of, then give it a like because we look at the most liked comments first. Uh, I think that is our stuff, isn't yeah. it? We've done it. Yep. We've achieved everything we needed Thank to achieve. You, so, uh, well, that's it. We've, we've done it. Uh, well done, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us, and we will see you next time for the Top Drive Show. <laughs>